Let us solve the exercise number 3 in the part A of C sharp lab. In this exercise, we are supposed to write a C sharp program to make uh, a pattern that represents a right angled triangle. And the pattern that they have shown here is uh, this one. So you have uh, the, in the it, it looks like a right angled triangle. So this, uh, if you look at it here, so it looks like a right angled triangle. So this kind of thing. So what they have said is um, uh, at the apex of this one, there is only one number that is in the row one. In the second row, there is going to be two numbers. In the third row, there is going to be three numbers. And in the fourth row, there is going to be four numbers. And if you there is the fifth row, there will be five numbers. And one other thing that you will notice here is uh, these numbers are changing. So in the first row, it will be one. Then one plus one is two then 3, after that 4, 5, 6, then 7, 8, 9, and so on. So this is going to continue like this. So straight away, let us go to the C sharp. I'm going to go to the file, and I'm going to go to the new here. So let me just go here, file the new, and uh, project. I will uh, select uh, C sharp as my project. You, if it is a template, you can click on this plus sign, and select the C sharp. And under C sharp, I'm going to select the console application. So I'm going to select this console application. So let me zoom out for you. Give it a name. I'm going to call it as exercise number A3. So you can give any name for this one and see to it that you save at a particular location. Let me click on save and it's going to create a project for me. And what is that I am supposed to do is, see, whenever you get to this kind of a program, the first thing you notice is how many rows are there. So one, two, three, four. Four rows are there. So just create one variable that will represent the number of rows. So number of rows is equal to four. This is what you are supposed to get. And then see what is changing. So what is changing? Sometimes nothing is changing. They will just put star here and say represent star. In this case, fortunately, this is changing. So one, two, three, four, something. So there is one number that is going to change. So let's start with that number. And I'm going to call that number as n. It is starting from one. So this is what is happening. The number starts from one, two, three, four, and so on. So how many times we have to go? We have to go four times. So let's write a loop that will go four times. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to start with the four. And I'm going to press double taps here. And for i is equal to, this is how it's going to come. For i is equal to our story, not from zero, because uh, we said that there are four rows are there. This is row number one, row number two, row number three, four, and so on. So I'm going to start i equal to one. i less than or equal to, if you start with the zero, you have to be careful with the, uh, this uh, closing one. Let me just... Uh, do here so i is less than or equal to number of rows so simple as that if you start from zero don't use the equal to sign so if you start from zero without this equal sign let's strictly less than or you know very well so the story and what is the next thing next thing is the numbers has to keep on increasing and i'm supposed to print it so simple as that so in the first row i have to print it two times uh, no, one time in the second row, I have to put, uh, print the number two times. In the third, I have to print the number three times, and in the fourth, I have to print four times. That means, uh, depending upon the row number, depending upon the row number, I have to print the number so many times. If I am in the tenth row, I have to print ten numbers. So simple as that. So let me start a one more loop. So I'm going to say four, and I'm going to put um, a double. Uh, tab here and for j equal to I will start with a very different variable again we will start with the one okay and how many times uh, this j will go so if it is the first row j will go only one time if it is second row j will go two times if it is third j will go three times if it is fourth j will go four times and so on depending upon the row number the j will repeat so many times so what is the row number current row number is i so j will go up to i times. So simple as that. So j will go up to i times. And what is that we are supposed to print it? So we are supposed to print the value of n. n is starting from 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So I am going to print 
CW and tab two times. So print the value of uh, n. So I'm going to print n plus one space. Why one space? Because you notice that uh, you can use the substitution also, but I will use with this n. One is okay. Okay. Uh, there is a space here. You notice uh, just here. There is a space in between. There is a space in between. There is a space in between. So that one space I am adding, you can use the substitution also, uh, variable substitution uh, with the string, that's all. But what is very important, once the value of n is printed, next time the value of n must be incremented by 1. So if the value is printed, next time it must be incremented by 1. So once you print the value, increment the value by 1 by pressing n plus plus n plus plus done, okay, or plus plus n, it is one and the same. You print it, okay, done. So, but uh, very important thing when you finish one row, when you finish printing one row, go to the next line. When you finish one row, go to the next line. How do I do that? When you finish one row, when you finish one row, go to the next line. How can you go to the next line? Now, very one small minor change, I'm going to do it. Let me write this part first. I'm going to call. Uh, Control li uh, right line, so that is console dot right line. This line, you know, we real. This will print one line at a time. Is this uh, this story? What is going to happen is, if you print one line, it will add next line. You, what you know? What is uh, the meaning of uh, next line? It's going to add slash n at the end. It will take you to the next line. So small change. Sorry about that. Small change here. I will not uh, use the right line. I will use right here. So be careful with that. Don't use right line because uh, if you use right line, it will simply take you to the next line. That this statement itself will take you to the next line. I don't want it to go to the next line. So it will print all the numbers, then it will go to the next line. Otherwise, what will happen is if you just put right line here itself, it will print one line, one number, and it will simply go to the next line. So it will print one number and simply go to the next line. I don't want that thing to happen. So what I want is uh, it must print all the numbers in the row, then it must go to the next line. So how am I doing that? I will at the end I'm going to put the right line. So this is uh, what has been done. Keep the cursor here. You notice that this is the starting point and this is the ending point. Before you end, you call, don't forget to call this console dot uh, console console dot array key, otherwise your program will not stop. Uh, it will simply show the output and it will vanish. Okay. Then, if you want, press Control Yes to save it or just click here to save the program. Hopefully, I have not done any mistake. Give it a try, and um, if everything is fine, you must be able to get the output. And if you compare this output with the output that is shown here, I will not zoom in, but uh, you see the output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 10. That's it. Press any key, and your program is done. That's all in this program. Very simple one. Thank you for your interest. We will meet again in the other exercise. Thank you.